Hi guys, Matt Hancock's here and welcome to our third video on this short little series. Um, I'm going to do a quick recap of um, the last two videos and just so we can kind of review where we are at this stage. Okay, so basically in the last two videos is that many health issues are the result of two very interconnected problems and they are nutritional deficiency and toxic overload. So we uncovered with principle number one that if you increase your micronutrients to give the cells the fuel it needs to run its daily operations. And this is mainly because we um, are now a lot more mineral and vitamin deficient because there's less minerals within the soil, we're harvesting too early, um, our food choices are not really as good as they should be. And what happens is that we get a major hormone imbalance which is creating um, weight gain. So we, just, what we uncovered was that if we kind of get, look at foods that are supplying the right nutrients and also um, supplement with a good quality of vitamin and mineral, then we can make sure that we're, we're doing you know, our first step, if you like, towards gaining optimum health. The next principle we uncovered was that we should periodically cleanse three to four times a year to clean out the toxic overload that modern living creates. So we were looking at dieting versus cleansing and the fact that you know most modern diets uh, or most most diets that we may have done before will they will all you will lose weight initially okay and I'd stress it's weight not necessarily fat and you and you will lose the weight but it will be normally at an expense of health and metabolism. So because you're not concentrating on cleansing out the impurities within our bodies, that um, you inevitably are going to get an emergency fat cell production later on and what we call a rebound effect as your body tries to protect itself from the higher concentration of toxins. So what we try and do is focus on cleansing where we have the right amount, we have the, the right foods and also the product to open up the elimination pathways and lose the um, toxicity within the, in the fat cells which allows the body to just release the fat. Of course because the concentration is then low um, there is no rebound effect and so it's, it's fast, it's sustainable and it's a real healthy way to lose fat um, and stress it's fat that we're losing and we maintain our lean tissue which is phenomenal. So principle number three then is that we want to reduce free radical damage and create healthy cell membranes. Healthy um, cell membranes are basically the integrity of the cell. So in order to get um, the desire, desirable healthy body what we need to do is we need to first look at the, the, the health of the cell. So the, the, um, the cell, basically if you can improve the health of the cell um, you'll improve the health of your tissues, the health of the uh, organs, and then you'll have a healthy body. Because a cell does exactly the same as what a human does. It, you know, um, it, res it respires, it reproduces, it's involved in hydration, and so everything we do as a body we need to do at a cellular level, and that will have this magnificent effect on, on the health of our system. So we're going to take a closer look at the cell membrane now and um, what we need to, to, to really focus on is the fact that the cell membrane um, has two layers, so it's called, it's called the lipid bilayer. Okay? And the job of this bilayer is to um, protect the cellular fluid which is on the outside of the cell okay, from what's going on on the inside of the cell. So the lipid bilayer is a protector and what's important to understand is that it is made from fat. So this is why it's really important to get enough good quality fats into the system so the cells become permeable. Okay? And this really, really is key. So what we have is um, the, the cell membrane and this kind of acts as a door. Right? So the cell membrane acts as a door. Um, as it has a receptor on it. It's kind of like um, a, a lock and key system. So the hormones and the messages come down into the receptor and 
this so, so unlocks the door and messages can get into the cell. Okay, so it gets through the cell membrane into the cell. So messages and hormones want to get into the cell. Now that permeability also means that to um, toxins and waste can get out of the cell like that. Now what's happening uh, in a lot of cases unfortunately is that the cell membranes become solid. So if we look at this one here, um, what we're noticing is that the the insulins, the hormones can't uh, are just rebounding off the cell because the cell membrane here is not permeable so it can't get in so that it can't open the door all right whereas here where the cell is permeable the cell membrane is permeable then that lock and uh, lock and key system is working the door is opening and the insulin can get into the into the, into the cell itself okay so if this cell membrane here is not permeable the nutrients can't get in messages can't get in and waste can't get out so what happens then is that the cell um, itself will become toxic so this will create a lot of challenges within the body and so what we need to do is make sure that we get enough good quality omegas good quality omegas um, into our system so that this cell membrane can become permeable and so they are the building blocks if you like of the cell membrane so we need to have plenty of oily fish nuts seeds avocado and just get loads and loads of um, of good quality fats so you know coconut oil and um, virgin olive oil a fantastic way of making the cells permeable and getting the nutrients into the cell okay so Let's take a look a little closer at uh, you know the daily chemical cocktail that is unfortunately causing free radicals uh, which will damage the cell. So as well as we're making the the cell membrane nice and permeable, we need to look at the um, a closer look at the kind of free radical damage that's that's going on. And you know we're kind of hit around ten thousand times a day from free radical damage. So we're, our body is permanently under assault from toxins. And um, you know it's important to realise that this daily toxicity creates free radical damage. Now, free radicals are the guys which kind of hit the inside of your cell, creating all the damage. So these free radicals not only are produced by toxins, but by everyday activity such as exercise. Um, you know, and you can't really escape the oxidation process because it's continually happening all the time. But these are these are a lot of the toxins that will cause free radical damage okay and you know it's it plays a huge huge role in in modern society so household cleaners environmental pollutants um, too much sugar and salt and preservatives in our diet um, alcohol plastics pesticides toiletries makeup all all of these things are toxins that are creating havoc to our system um, but like I say, even exercise, which is obviously what we, we need to do to keep ourselves nice and healthy, does cause um, oxidative stress, which causes uh, free radical damage. So all oxidation is, is a molecule that has lost, um, one elect well, lost an electron, and it becomes unbalanced. Okay, So through either toxicity, exercise, or, or other daily occurrence. Now, this molecule is unbalanced and bounces around the cell, kind of like a pinball in a, in a, in a pinball machine, scoring damage points, if you like, um, around the cell, and especially on your D uh, DNA, which is in the nucleus of the cell here. Now, the nucleus is, or the DNA, this is responsible for cellular division. Now, it's kind of like a set of architect plans, if you like, and the plans are difficult to read due to the free radicals hitting the plans. So, these free radicals are hitting, bang, 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 hitting it, hitting the nucleus of the cell, um, and it's making the plans really difficult to read. And what happens is that the cell divides into something not quite the same as the original plan had in mind, and since the plans have become hard to read due to the toxins creating the damage, um, what can happen over time is that the cell begins to mutate, okay, which makes it, which makes us uh, very, very sick. And Actually, there was an, an author and reporter, Philip Day, 
who puts it really succinctly, so I'm going to use his quote here, because he said, let it be stressed that nutritional deficiency diseases and toxin-related sicknesses are the main killers of humanity today. They comprise 90 to 95% of the problems. So it's not cancer, not heart disease, not diabetes, or one of the myriad um, of other illnesses which inflict us, you know, that are the real problem. They're just the symptoms of the real issue, which is nutritional deficiency and high toxin levels in the body. So they're mutating and making us, making us sick because the, the, um, the high amount of free radical damage that's, that's occurring in our body. So the toxic overload and the, the poor nutritional um, habits are causing even more free radical damage and we just can't cope with it. Um, and so what we need to do is neutralize the free radicals. We need to neutralize them. So how do we neutralize them? Well, basically we need to have more um, antioxidants because an antioxidant will provide the free radical with, a, with that missing electron and so that it's nice and balanced again. Yeah, it's very, very simple, but quite ingenious. So they donate one of their uh, abundant electrons. You know, they've got more than they need, so they just pass one over. And it's really, really simple, very, very powerful, and it kind of neutralizes the free radical. So, so this prevents the damage to the cell and the DNA, meaning that the cell is free to work uh, efficiently and the cell can divide easier uh, because everything, you, you know, the, the DNA plans can be rare, uh, can be seen and read and understood and so you don't get the mutation. So that's basically the healthy cell membrane here that the messages can get in and the antioxidants are going to neutralize the free radicals. So the two together form a fantastic um, healthy cell. Okay. So that leads us to principle number three, reduce free radical damage and create healthy cell membranes. So in our next video, what I'm going to show you is how we can kind of pull all this together so you know we can gain optimum health and vitality. So until then, um, uh, I hope that you've kind of understood those last three videos. I hope you found them very, very useful. And then I'll pull it all together in our next video. So I'll catch you then.